Welcome to Software Games, the place to find new strategy games. And have you ever wanted to have rats or frogs fight for you as you lead your caravan? Well, now is the time. We're going to be playing a caravan management game. And this game is going to be on sale until the 5th of November. It costs 3.99 euros. So if you'd like, you can check it out on Steam. Big thank you to the developer for giving me a key for this. And now let's go. It's a really fun, casual, relaxing game. I'm quite enjoying it. The story begins. Every story has a beginning. Land inhabited by many different folk, places and opportunities. The capital is torn. Conflicts plagues the land. I'm gonna continue with the intro. Sometimes a change can be made by a single person. A quest that starts from an aspicus place. A sword, majestic but forgotten. Much like a hero of tales. All it takes is the right person at the right place at the right time. That person only needs to make the right choice, a decision to lift the weight to carry the quest, pull the sword from the stone. Power to be wielded wisely. Surprisingly easily lifted. Now with the power granted ready for what awaits ahead. Every quest, every journey has its challenges. Challenges with decisions to make. Overcoming challenges much the same as enduring the giant. And we can fight the giant or we can run away. Now, fighting the giant is the wrong choice, but I'm gonna do it because I want to show you because it's kind of funny. And sometimes poor decisions and quests early. A little too early. Perhaps this story needs a new start. Um, right person, right place, right time. Making the choice, the right choice. Lifting a more metaphorical weight. Pick up the sword. Maybe it is the less of a sword of a hero, it's more of a sword of a leadership. And you should look for friends in a fast manner. Alright, so we can pick between the giants, the frogs, the humans, and rats. So it seems like some of these are better against different classes. For example, rats are pretty bad against giants. The frog warriors are very cool, so we're gonna pick those. Uh, mostly because I like the way they look. My friend and companions face the road through hardships and avoid painful quick death. Who do you take with you? You also get different amount of people based on that. So you get three frogs, but for example, four rats or two giants. So let's pick frogs armed with spears. Every quest has its challenges. Challenges that are easier with companions. Companions and right decisions. Companions looking after one another. The journey can continue. The capital looms in the distance. The Imperial Army will return when winter comes. Will you make it in time or perish on the way? Let's find out. All right, so this is our camp. Let me first talk to you about the UI a little bit so you know what we have and everywhere. This on the left is minerals, we can have zero. This is food, this is like the most important resource in the game. Here is our money and valuables. And over here we have the caravan, which essentially tells us that we can have three out of three people. You can sometimes lose people in combat or when you're sending out on quests. Over here, you can see a cavern. We have the one group of lancers. You can have multiple groups of people. They have 110 health, do 20 damage, no defense, and there's three of them. And my tents have a food capacity of 80, and campfire allows me to heal for 30% of my health. This is pretty important, and we can upgrade these things over here. We can also rest if we need to work on our health, which is currently 100%. You can see the health over here, or health bar. And now let's go to the map. All right, so we're gonna start by moving over here. Every time you move, it's going to cost you some food. So let's start by moving over there. And we can, oh, th this is the same map as we saw before. So let's move towards, let's start towards this event. We'll see what we get. Forest cave. Hidden under the stone pillars, we find a cave entrance. The cave leads downwards, but it's too dark to see inside. Being so hidden with nothing but nature around it, the cave doesn't seem so, just be very useful. There seems to be some more traveling equipment, but nothing of use yet. Searching deeper might lead to something. Yeah, let's try to search more. You find the remains of a few adventures. Whatever they were doing, it didn't end well. After gathering everything useful, we decide to leave the cave. We get 15 materials. That's pretty cool. Let's do some combat now. Over here, you can see that we don't actually see much aside from this thing. So every time you enter sort of like a new territory on the map, you can you can see what's happened there. So we gotta move to that direction if you want to. Also, each sort of like biome you can see here gives you somewhat different events. For example, in this biome we can get things like poisonous plants. In a different biome we might get something like event like you're too cold or something. Okay, so combat is automatic. We as the leader are pretty bad at using our sword. So if we just kind of support our guys okay we're not really there to fight we're just like yeah i'm just gonna help you out let's move towards this tent and see what we could get we don't need, we could heal but we don't need to i'm going to upgrade my campfire because right now i can spend 20 food to heal for 30 percent if i upgrade this i can then spend 20 food to heal for 40 percent i'm also going to upgrade my tent this allows me to store more food instead of 80 it's 120 
and then I'm going to move over here to find I do want to go to town but in the town you can buy a new group for 50 gold I would like to get to that if possible so we're going to try to see if, if we can get that working okay so we've got two giants against our three little frogs so that's gonna be a little rough for us but we should be able to kill them off. yeah we're at half HP now but it's okay we can heal it we also got some food which is good we have a lot of money so one option would be to start moving towards this town down here. Alternatively, we could try to go upwards and hope that there's a town somewhere on this biome. Like if you move towards here, we could try that. Because this is going to take us eight and then another, what, six food to get here. Yeah, and we need, we need more money. So let's move towards this event and see what's over here. There's a town there. That could work. Brief rest. The road opens up a little, plants giving some room, a corner of the swamp that feels slightly less intrusive, even the rocks are covered with moss, softer to touch. We could rest or get our moss, so let's rest, because that should allow us to heal. The cabin set us down for a while, so I'm even falling asleep. It seems even a place this intrusive can be cozy. 30% of cabin health restored. Perfect. Now we're gonna go straight into combat and try to move towards this town and hope that I can get some money on the way. Okay, three frogs against four rats, we should be able to destroy them pretty easily. That is not a rough combat for me. Now, with my main guy, like I said, you can't really do nothing. The combat is entirely automatic. You don't really need to do anything. There's a special combat where you need to move, but not this kind of combat. We've got 50 gold. 50 gold is so good. Okay, so we could go to this way or this way now. What's important to note here is that if you have zero food, you can still move to the map, but you're going to lose HP. So do you want to do an event or a fight? I think I'll try an event. Do I have to Roomy doctor. Curious wagon filled with miscellaneous items is set on the roadside. The red doctor is already at work in this wagon, handling suspicious liquid between bottles. He offers his services. Bring the doctor to a patient. Take, let's take part in an experiment. Ooh, 25 gold! That is epic. A volunteer from the cavern sips the doctor's beverage. He staggers a bit backwards and nothing happens. Maybe the solution wasn't yet finished. The doctor responds a while and then offers you gold. Ooh, that is pretty epic. All right, so we gotta go here. We've got not enough food, so we're gonna lose some HP, but that's all right, we can take it. And now we're in town. The small town is surprisingly busy. The tavern filled with laughter. Surely find, uh, you can find people to hire here. The market is bustling with goods for selling or buying. Resting at the end would do well for once. So, important note here, resting costs you 30 gold, or you can rest for 20 gold to fill up 40%, which would essentially allow me to heal up fully for 20 food and i can get 20 food for much less than 30 gold so we definitely don't want to do that so let's buy you gotta make sure that we have, we have we're gonna have 55 gold left okay now they're going to go to hire a new group of people so i'm going to hire a new group and i am going to hire i think we're gonna grab the rats we have the frog so let's add the rags to our roaster so now we have seven people in total and I think we could buy one more set of food, correct? Yeah, let's do it. We're gonna need a lot of food over here, so let's we get 60 food now. We're not gonna rest because we could... Yeah, we're not gonna. It's fine. Let's go through the combat here, and then we're gonna move over to that biome, I think. Territory. We have four rats and three frogs against their four rats. We should be able to destroy them. Like, it's nothing. Yeah. What are we gonna get for this? Four materials, ten gold. That's not not bad. Let's move through this. We've already been here, so it's not really gonna give us anything interesting. And we're gonna move. I'm gonna move through this combat over to there. We'll see what. Abandoned town. You come across a small village. It seems it was abandoned some time ago, but maybe there's still something usable left. Well, let's scrounge for supplies. You split the scrounge of supplies from the town. A family heirloom is found and you manage to salvage some materials from the abandoned structures. So we got five materials and valuables. So we can sell valuables for gold. That's not bad. There's some more combat. I want to wait till they're really low on HP before I heal. Also, we might run out of food by then. So that's something to watch out for. Yeah, this is okay. We did it very well here. Again, ten gold, four stuff. Okay. We'll move towards the tent. Do we want to bother with healing? We could. We could. But... 
I don't... No, I'm not gonna do it. I, I don't want to do it because we, we would we would run out of food too fast and then we would lose HP anyway. Long journey. It's been long since you last saw any semblance of civilization or anything that could help on the journey. People are getting restless and the road hasn't gotten any easier. So we could do a speech, look for resources, or spend some time resting. Let's try to look for resources. You spend the rest of the day looking for resources. Thankfully, you managed to find a pair of birds that are edible enough. While they do not have much meat on them, the successful search brought up spirits. So, okay, we get food. That's great. Ooh, I really love my group. That looks really good. Let's move to this. There's not gonna, I mean, this is a boss fight, by the way. We're gonna try to get there. Let's move towards this tent over here. You're not gonna be healing. And we, we have a town in a lot of time. Let's go through the combat, see if we could get to town. Okay, that's 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 better way to do town, I think. Two humans, two rats. Okay. I remember we are at half HP now, so and we have no food, so we're gonna be losing HP every time we move. Unless we can oh we, we got eight food, so that's great. So we can move to here for free. Okay, we've got some something happening. Fallen supplies. You stalked near a large tear in the ground next to the road. The town ground sank for down wagons and crates with it. Those look like building supplies, perhaps still salvageable? Lift up. You need humans. We don't have humans, so we're gonna ask someone to climb down. Members of the caravan look at you and then each other. After a moment of small chatter, a few volunteers approach. Cautiously, they look down and prefer before starting to climb down. The first volunteer takes a grip and begins the descent and properly falls to their death. Ooh. I lost the caravan member. It's okay, we can hire a new one. Unfinished bridge. An unfinished bridge stands in the distance. As you get closer, it seems the construction didn't end peacefully. The imagined bridge still has construction equipment near it. What is some activity under the bridge? There's a group of suspicious individuals living in their in a beaten down camp under the bridge. They notice you and quickly prepare poor weapons against you. Let's try to talk. Ooh, 10 materials for 20 food. Or 10 gold for 10 food. If I do 10 materials for 20 food, they're gonna give me 20 food for my 10 materials? We could take that. After some suspicion from both sides, one of the bandits explains they lost a farmhouse not too far from here. They're in desperate need of the materials but are willing to trade food for them. Yeah, we'll do it. You trade the group materials and they're happily bringing you the food. Already work on improving the meager camp, you leave the group and head back to the road. That was really good for us. That was amazing. So we're no longer gonna get hurt and it's just all is well in the world for us now. We are not gonna rest because we can't. So we're just gonna move along to the town and we're gonna sell all the valuables, get ourselves some food and everything's gonna be good again. Also we're gonna hire that missing guy. So first, let's hire that missing person. It was... It was a rat. We have a hired for 10 gold. Next, we are going to get some, uh, sell all the valuables, all three of them, and we're going to get some food. Maybe, let's, let's get all the food we can, really. Okay, so we're done. We have three gold left. We could rest now. Yeah, okay, we'll rest now. Seems, seems like a good decision. Yeah, we're okay. So let's move towards a fight. It's gonna cost us 10 food to even get there. That's kind of rough, but we can do it. We have fate in me. Okay, two, a giant and two humans should be all right. Considering how many people we have. Right, he's dead. We get 10 food and 15 gold for this. Okay, let's move to here. I am going to heal up before the boss fight, even though it's probably not the most effective use up of our resources, it's just better if you're like to full health. And it's time for the big fight. If we can handle it. Mountain passage. A large encampment of bandits block it, blocks the bridge ahead. You're going to have to fight through all of them to continue our quest. Conquer the passage! Okay, so we start off with against two giant and two frogs. That's not really a big deal. But then it's going to tell you to move. So this time you can actually move. We're gonna see it right now. And we're going to be moving to see more enemies. Okay, we've got more enemies, that's fine. So we're gonna send our rats ahead to fight them off. Oof, actually we might we might 
Let's see if we can survive this. That's rough. Okay, just one more. Come on, come on. You can do it. Kill him! Kill him! No! Kill him! Yeah, we did it! Oh my god, that was so close. We've got one tiny thing left. Oh, we got 20 food and 20 gold. Okay, we, we're gonna keep moving. Uh, actually, we don't need to keep moving. We can just... Uh, on the map, I think. Yeah. So we did this, so we're gonna move over here. And... <laughs> We're gonna need to go to town to like heal up and stuff. We could also rest here. Now I do wonder if I rest, I'm gonna get the people back. I don't think so, but I want to test it out. No, okay. But we, we're gonna hire them later, so that's fine. I, that, that was probably a waste, but I wanted to test it out. Let's go towards the town and we need to buy... We also need to like hire missing people, so can we... Two frogs? Let's do... we could do... we can only do one frog, why? This is a stream, it's only allowing you to click on one instead of the multiple that you should get. You get three out of seven. Yeah, it's not really allowing me to do that. So let's hire some food instead. So we're gonna need that. We have three people now, though. Because if 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 you look, no, not not here. If you look at this, you know, it's like we have no rogues, but it should really let us to rehire all three of them instead of just one at a time. But it is what it is. So let's move towards another combat, I guess. Okay, three frog guys against a giant and two humans. Yeah, that's gonna be a little rough here. Yeah, I actually am winning that pretty fine. Thought he would do worse than that. Okay, 15 gold. Okay, so I think we're gonna end this episode here. And I hope you enjoyed it. You can click on the right top to watch Defending Territory. Or you can click on the right bottom to watch Evil Bank Manager. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.